In this video, you will learn how to apply your cape skin on your Nokia 6.1 Plus. So let's get started. To apply the skin, you will need two things. One, to be under bright lighting and two, patience. There are two types of capes Nokia 6.1 Plus skins. One is the glass back, which only covers the glass back of the phone and the other is the full back, which covers the back and the sides of the phone. A camera skin cutout is also included in every order. Our trustworthy microfiber cloth will help you out in the application. You will also need a hairdryer for this installation. So pause the video until you get everything in place. Welcome back. Use the microfiber cloth included in the package and give your phone a good cleaning. Now take out the camera skin and align with your phone's camera as shown. Once perfectly aligned, apply some pressure on it. First we are going to apply the glass back skin. In case you bought the full back skin, skip straight to it. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Now align the camera cut out of the skin with the phone's camera and fingerprint sensor making sure the skin aligns perfectly straight with the glass edge at the top. Now apply some firm pressure on it. Now lift the skin from the bottom and rotate the 3M paper as shown. Flip the phone upside down and make sure the skin is aligned perfectly on both corners. Now check the corners if the skin overlaps on one side and the glass edge is visible on the other side then peel back the bottom skin and align again. Once done, flip your phone upside down and remove the 3M paper entirely. Smooth out the entire skin carefully. Rub all the edges 10 to 12 times with a microfiber cloth to make the skin blend into your phone. Wow, it looks stunning, right? And you thought this will be tough. Say hello to your new Nokia 6.1 Plus. Hello, so you went for the full back skin. Let's get started. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Flip your phone upside down and align your skin perfectly with the charging port, the speaker holes and the microphone holes. If you don't nail it in your first try, just remove it gently and try again. Once done, use your thumbs to apply pressure at the bottom. To avoid ugly air pockets at the curve, use the hairdryer at the bottom and apply firm pressure bit by bit to make it look like this. Place your phone on a flat surface, then remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Align the skin with camera cutout and the fingerprint sensor. If you mess it up, just peel back slowly and try again. Once perfectly aligned, apply firm pressure on it. Remove the 3M paper entirely and smoothen it out. Once done, use the head dryer on the top until the material softens up and apply pressure bit by bit. Repeat the process for the bottom. Now, heat the right side of the skin until it softens up. The trick to do it precisely is by applying some pressure bit by bit and just tapping the skin around the sim tray. Do the same thing for the left side. Just remember to tap the skin around the power button and volume keys. Heat up the corners and apply firm pressure on them while keeping the flaps untouched. Do the same for all four corners. The key to get a seamless feel is to align the corner here with the flap edge here. Heat the flap up until it softens up. 
Now put four pressure on small part of the flap. Then continue heating and applying the flap until it's done. Any creases or ripples can be smoothened out by a trustworthy microfiber cloth after applying some heat on the skin. Repeat the process for other three flaps. Now if your attention span didn't allow you to remember everything, don't worry, just jump back. Finally, use a microfiber cloth and rub it edge to edge 10 to 12 times to give you a seamless feel. What? This wasn't tough at all. Say hello to your new Nokia 6.1 Plus.